you know, the, the name sounds really encouraging, but we wanted to have a real discussion about um, how possible it is to quit your day job and blog. And so, uh, you know, there, there have been panels, some of you might have been to some panels or, or seen some things before about monetizing your video blog, monetizing your podcast. Um, we might touch on those things uh, here, but it's not really what the panel's about. The panel's about people who, you know, would love to make video blogging or making videos on the internet their, their job, their day job. And uh, we've got together four people who have, in one way or another, done that. You know, they've, they've, made, um, they've made video blogging in some way their job, or they've found jobs through video blogging. And uh, we want to talk a little bit with them, hear about their experiences, and, uh, and also just get a sense of, you know, what you all want to talk about in the audience and, and what you can learn from them. So it'll be pretty simple. You know, we'll talk, everybody will tell their stories, and uh, we'll ask people questions. how we're shooting Pirates of the Caribbean 3. I love that we make sequels, but what if they don't want to make any more? How are you and I going to work together again? I have a great idea. What if we did a remake of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Is that this time we'll call it Fear and Loathing in Brooklyn, right? And I'll be a girl that's addicted to LSD, but my family's in the Mafia, so we're in Brooklyn all the time like... What are you looking at, man? Get out of my pizza shop. What are you doing? We're in the mafia. Right. Send you to Antarctica with no coat. <laughs> right. Great. Okay. Okay. Here's a really good idea. What if we did Edward Spoon hands instead of Edward Scissor hands? Get it? No scissors, just spoons. And I can only eat ice cream and soap. But I'm lactose intolerant, and I don't like veggies. Right? And at the end, I've got stomach cancer, and you're so sad. Isn't that brilliant? I like the part where you get stomach cancer. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess two years ago at this time, I had started a production company about eight months prior to that. Uh, small production company is one of the person, Dan, and uh, we were doing a lot of corporate gigs, you know, just paying bills, editing jobs, shooting gigs, things like that. And we were looking to do things, be more creative, um, especially in our downtime. And he sort of discovered YouTube, and he's like, it's amazing. It was, very, it was a smaller site at the time, and you know, there was a small community there, and he was really interested in it, he showed it to me, and it was really exciting, and so I was like, all right, you know, let's do something on there. So I started posting videos, not really knowing what would happen, just thinking it was an interesting split space and a place to be creative, and then, as we all know, it sort of grew, and I grew with it, and, uh, you know, everything sort of changed, and I did some stuff on TV, and now there's just, there's just so many opportunities, and I'm doing a lot of different internet content, trying to expand outside of YouTube and other different possibilities in the traditional entertainment field. And um, yeah, just so much has changed from 